Well, Shabbat Shalom. I just want to welcome everyone to the Sabbath Day Conference Call. This is Barbara serving as your host today. And also, uh, Brother uh, Matthew is here uh, as a co-host. Um, I just want to invite everyone to go to our website for more information about New Moon Day. Uh, our website is LunarSabbathDay.com. Well, this is the question for everybody. When is New Moon Day? How do you know when New Moon Day is? Well, New Moon Day is dawn after conjunction. And that is our discussion today. And we will try to explain it to you the best we can. What is conjunction? The lunar solar conjunction is the precise moment in time when the sun is again in line with the moon, the same celestial longitude, uh, before it once again moves ahead of the moon at the beginning of the next lunar phase. The time of conjunction is often referred to as astronomical new moon. The lunar-solar conjunction takes place at the beginning of each lunar cycle, and it's very predictable. Well, uh, you want to ask, when is New Moon Day? New Moon Day commences at the dawn after conjunction, and I'll explain why. And. Uh, Actually, here are the reasons behind the method, and uh, Brother Matthew will read this part. The moon begins to illuminate immediately after conjunction. We cannot see it, though, until the sun sets because the moon is obscured by the greater light of the sun. The fact that we cannot see the moon immediately after conjunction, however, does not negate the fact that it has already began a new re revolution with new illumination. Often the first visible crescent will be seen on the evening of the new moon, displaying her new light to the viewer. When reckoning the dawn after conjunction as the beginning of the new moon day, the entire world will be united in observing the same day. While it might appear that two different days are being observed when communicating the dates via the Gregorian calendar, in reality everyone on earth will be observing new moons, Sabbath, and feast days, during the same solar revolution, each beginning their day with the same 24-hour period. In other words, all countries of the world will experience the arrival of the Sabbath and feast days within one 24-hour solar revolution. Thus, the whole world is truly unified in beginning his holy days with one 24-hour period. Using this method, a divinely appointed worldwide dateline is established each month by the Creator. And this chart over here on the left, uh, you'll be able to pause the screen and study it out. And also, I will leave links below so you can look it up for yourself. But the green line here shows when New Moon Day could be on a Wednesday all the way around the world, the Earth, except for this little section that's pink, and they would be one Gregorian day different, but it would all be in one 24-hour period. And the reason for making the day after conjunction New Moon Day as opposed to the actual day that conjunction takes place is because a day cannot simultaneously be part of the old month and part of a new month. And therefore, the first dawn after conjunction takes place is the beginning of the new month. And here's an example for this coming month. Uh, this recording is done uh, in uh, February of 2022. So uh, conjunction takes place on Gregorian Wednesday, March 2nd at 1235 p.m. So the day is half over and it cannot be a new month. It is still part of the old month. The first dawn after conjunction is March 3rd, and that's the Gregorian Thursday. So this day is when it happens in the middle of the day, and it can't be a new month. It's still on the previous month. So that is the reasoning for dawn, the first dawn, astronomical dawn after conjunction. How do we know when conjunction is? Can we tell with or without modern technology? 
Well, while we do utilize modern technologies to determine precisely when the conjunction will occur, we use the heavenly bodies alone to reckon time, just as we are instructed in Genesis 1.14. So over here to the left is a chart of all the future uh, lunar solar conjunction dates for 2022. And uh, to use the chart, uh, I'll leave this link below their instructions how to use it. Uh, in, uh, in the Eastern Standard Time in the winter, you subtract five hours. And in the spring, you subtract four hours. And if you remember on the chart below, it said March 2nd, it was at 1235. That's because the five hours were subtracted. But anyways, uh, we'll practice this uh, more uh, as we go along, um, it gets more familiar how to do it yourself. Well, how to know when conjunction is? Yeah, do we know how to do find conjunction without a computer? Yes, we can. We can observe the moon's phases as they wane from the last quarter phase to the ever shrinking crescents and measure the decreasing distances between them and the rising sun in the east. We have the ability to perform several measurement sightings in the days after the Sabbath on the 22nd of the lunar month. The measurements are accomplished best around or slightly before the arrival of the sun. So we would wait. Today is actually the 22nd day of the month that we're doing a recording. So. Um, you, you would start your measurements on the 22nd day, the last phase of the month, to find out when conjunction is going to be. While holding a measuring tape or ruler that is graded in centimeters and held at arm's length, measure the angular separation between the sun on the horizon and the waning crescent moon. Take several readings and then record them. Just be sure to measure from the center of the sun to the center of the moon. One centimeter is equal to one degree of angular separation. In the absence of household tools and because we are fearfully and wonderfully made, all anyone really truly needs is their hands. When viewed at arm's length, your hands and fingers make the perfect measuring tools for angular separation. Because our body's proportions are scaled to the order of all creation using the golden mean, it makes no difference what your physical stature is. Its positioning, one's hand at arm's length, provides a surprisingly accurate tool for measuring the angular separation or distance in degrees between the sun and the moon. Okay, and a person's pinky finger viewed at arm's length is very close to one degree angular separation. And the index, middle, and the index, middle, and ring fingers together represent a five degree separation. Uh, so uh, take the average reading and divide that number by 0 0.5 because that's the number of degrees the sun gains on the moon each hour. And the result number reveals how many hours from the time of the measurement until conjunction. Then, if necessary, divide that number by 24 to see how many days until the conjunction. And uh, the moon does lose approximately 12 degrees every day. And we are not reading this whole page. I'm going to let you pause it or look up the link and study it out for yourself. But this gives more uh, detail of how to do all the math. And Elohim said, let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night and let them be for signs and for seasons or worship times and for days and years, Genesis 1:14. And the word translated as seasons in Genesis 1.14 is moed. And moed is used in a broad sense for all religious assemblies. And Jehovah met Israel at specific times for the purpose of revealing his will. And it is a common term for the worshiping assembly of Yah's people. So when reckoning new moon day, 
as commencing at dawn after the lunar solar conjunction, the entire world is, in, is united in the observation of not only the feast and Sabbath that we just read about in Genesis 1.14, but every day. And that is to say that everyone on earth begins their day within the same 24-hour period. Okay, and so um, last week we had some questions about what is the lunar solar date line. And uh, we did uh, discuss a little bit about this, but the lunar solar date line is a line of demarcation established on Earth by the sun and moon at the lunar solar conjunction. And what makes a lunar solar date line so remarkable is that it allows us to differentiate between calendar days without man's intentions i.e. the international date line, which is a man-made line. So how, this is how, the, how does the lunar solar date line work? Well, the first dawn after the lunar solar conjunction marks the beginning of the date line. Dawn then moves forward from that point, bringing with it new moon day to the world. Subsequently, six work days follow, and then the seventh day Sabbath, the lunar Sabbath. Although Jehovah's date line, which could also be called his drawn line, changes geographically from one lunation to the next, commencing new moon day at dawn after the conjunction ensues, that everyone on earth begins their day within the same 24-hour period. Consequently, there is no need whatsoever for man's counterfeit date line. And had the Father's uh, feast days never been forgotten and his calendar never forsaken, there would have been no reason to conjure up a man-made international date line. And so um, a close examination of the international date line irrefutably proves that the modern weekly cycle has not cycled continuously without interruption since creation. And uh, we did uh, this... Uh, Last week, we did a whole um, study on the international date line, uh, showing that it is a man-made date line, and it, and it proves that there's not a continuously cycling week since creation, as we were taught. And this is the video that we did, so I hope that you will go and watch it, and I'll leave that on the trailer at the end of this uh, YouTube. So International Date Line, this is just a little review of what we did last week. Um, the International Date Line is imaginary, and it was contrived by a committee of men in Washington, D.C. in 1884. The location of the IDL, International Date Line, is arbitrary and has no link to anything in nature. And because the international date line is arbitrary, it is movable. And it has been moved several times for political and economic convenience. So how does the international date line compare to the lunar solar date line? We're going to do a comparison now. Is the international date line based on observational phenomenon? No. The IDL, or International Date Line, is 100% imaginary and arbitrary. Is the Lunar Solar Date Line based on observable phenomenon? Yes, it is based on the motions of the heavenly bodies in accordance with Genesis 1.14. Can the International Date Line be moved by man? Yes, men have moved the International Date Line several times for political and economic convenience. Can the lunar solar date line be moved by man? No, because the lunar solar date line is determined by the heavenly bodies and it is out of man's reach. The lunar solar date line is under the direct supervision of the Father, Jehovah, who by wisdom founded the earth and by understanding established the heavens. Proverbs 3:19. Who created the International Date Line? Well, the International Date Line was contrived by a committee of men in Washington, D.C. 
who created the lunar solar date line. The lunar solar date line was established by Jehovah, and it is determined at the beginning of each lunation by the motions of the heavenly bodies in accordance to Genesis 1.14. When was the International Date Line established? The International Date Line was established in 1884. When was the Lunar Solar Date Line established? The Lunar Solar Date Line was established at creation with the ordination of the Sun and Moon. So which date line do you suppose heaven endorses? Embrace the truth. Today's calendar is a Roman Gregorian calendar named after Pope Gregory the 13th. So please don't make the mistake of believing that there is safety in numbers. Uh, your pastor might choose to remain in darkness. Your church family might prefer the comfort of a pew over the discomfort of bearing the cross. Uh, everyone you know might reject the increasing light of the Father's calendar. This, however, does not excuse you from your responsibility to embrace the truth. Jehovah has made it known to you. Incomprehensible blessings await for those who trust and obey. And I love this scripture, uh, Proverbs 4.18. The path of the just is as the shining light that shineth more and more unto the perfect day. So to access more information about New Moon Day and um, all the dates on a calendar, the Sabbaths and feast dates, please go to our website, uh, LunarSabbathDay.com. And thank you for being here today.